nothing like this sport. It's the most demanding sport there is in terms of the versatility of skills, the endurance, speed, strength, and it's just all action all the time. Let's be honest, who doesn't like to put a good hit on someone else too? <laughs> I'm usually good with sirens. I guess it can teach, instill morals in, in some people, you know. It is a very hard-nosed game and, you know, we go out there and put everything on the field, but, you know, like you said, at the end of the game, you clap your mate off, you, you know, you have a beer with them afterwards, you have a chat with them afterwards, just instilling those kind of morals, loyalty and, and honesty and stuff like that and respect mainly. It uh, connects people at a more civil level. Uh, yeah, good stories from the road. What happens on the road stays on the road. <laughs> As opposed to the enemy, it's the opposition. You, the reason you support your teammate is to, it's just that brotherhood. In rugby, the rivalry stays on the field. Once you've finished the game, uh, it's it, it's over. The West might have some really fast girls, but the Northeast might have some just big, tough, run over everybody girls, which I don't care if you're fast, but if you're small and Phaedra Knight's going to run over you, it's going to hurt. Love the running, the tackling, the wide open space that Sevens provides for the game. I love it when someone thinks they're about to tackle you and then you stiff arm them. <laughs> it's true. That's real fun. Not many sports you can go out there, hit someone, and not get in trouble. Making a nice cut and just hearing the other person as you pass them by go, oh, and you're yeah. like, yes, I'm through that hole, I'm past them, I'm running free. How do I feel about women's rugby? I actually like it. I see more of a women taking uh, anger out on the field rather than him taking out on me. <laughs> I think rugby helps develop a great sense of tolerance. Um, you get to play against a lot of different types of people. Uh, you get to play with a lot of different types of people. I was never a huge fan of the British until I met Dominic and uh, now we're almost best friends. So, like I said before, that brotherhood is instilled. But like, we're all friends, we're all family, we come to each other whenever we need something. And I see faces that I've been friends with for 30 or 40 years. The most important part about rugby to me, and the reason I love it most, is the fraternity and the sense of brotherhood or sisterhood that you get. The mentality about rugby and the headspace is so much healthier than I've seen in other sports. It's not just what happens between the white lines, it's, it's how you carry yourself. You know, as a man in my case. And uh, I think that the more people take that on, the more successful, you know, everyone will be. And I'm excited to be part of it. Any good stories from the road? Uh, too many, too many to count. <laughs> you know, uh, no. <laughs> Always carry your boots on board. <laughs> That's a, don't lose them. I went and recruited and I made it a big marketing thing. I got all the best guys, the best looking guys, which got girls out and the girls got more athletes out. And we, we built a program that we were unstoppable. In our first year, we outscored our, our college opponents 119 to nothing. Now those are the kind of scores that they were predicting were gonna happen to us, but we smoked everybody. And then in our second year, we made it to the Southern California Finals. And in that year, we beat the league up to us, uh, above us was Long Beach State, the powerhouse. We beat them in the finals of the San Diego tournament. We also beat the best club team on the West Coast in sevens rugby. Uh, the first time my guys had ever played sevens. And I just steered them around and I said, just tackle everybody. I'll take care of the rugby. <laughs> so we, we, we beat LA Rugby Club on a kick in the last second. And they were the number one seed in that tournament. Ranked to be a challenger for the national championship in sevens of the men's level, which would be professional rugby level. We're a second year college, guys didn't know even <laughs> know how to play sevens, but we just worked our tails off. And, we, and we, when, we, when we won that game, you know, guys said, where did you get these guys? I think it's a great sport that um, is a great fit for America. It's physical, it's fast, it's exciting, there's big hits, there's lots of scores. I think uh, America should fall in love with this, so being in the Olympics is a huge push. Uh, I fully plan to play in, t in 2016 in Rio. Been look, think about it every day, been looking forward to it since I first heard about it a couple of years ago. I think what's changing is just uh, an intent to get more professional. I mean, I think we all know with the, with the coming of the Olympics, you know, 2016, sevens being awarded, um, we have to get more professional about it. She played college football and she said that she's never seen her son more excited about a sport uh, than rugby, that they, he's 24-7. Rugby really gets into your blood like that. It got into mine and still in mine. And, uh, happy to still be a part of it. I got into rugby by my PE coach, oh PE coach, PE teacher. 
and he told me that cheerleading was lame and <laughs> rugby is the way to go. Um, if you're as awkward as we are on camera, then maybe rugby is a good backup plan for you. When you get on the field, you know, you gotta drop everything else that you've been thinking about and you just gotta let loose and I like how rugby is. And so for me, I talk about it not in terms of rugby as a sport, I talk about it in terms of rugby as a way of life. Rugby is a huge game of trust on the field like we were saying, and it's the same thing off the field. You really meet people that you learn to live with and trust for the rest of your life. As soon as you mentioned that you play rugby, that camaraderie is unmatchable. It's been my life since I found the game. Just like the Miracle on Ice, in the 1980 hockey team, we had no business competing with USSR and Sweden and some of those professional teams. But you know what, we're Americans, so we, we rose to the challenge, and now we're putting out the call to arms just like that right now for rugby.